the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god Israel, the promised land, the scene of revelations, the land of the Bible, the crucible of history, and the world's most exciting country. All of us sooner or later dream of visiting the promised land, and this really is the only place to spend Easter. So on this Easter Sunday, we decided to make the trip ourselves and take you with us in spirit, if not in person, to the land that gave us our religion and our music. So welcome. I'm Tommy Common, and I'm here in the Holy Land to celebrate our music and its birthplace. Shalom. Do everything turn, turn, turn. There's a season. Turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to laugh, a time to weep. Do everything turn, 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 there is a season, turn, 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 and a time for every purpose. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his garments and wounded him and departed. I'm sure everyone has heard the parable of the Good Samaritan on that journey to Jericho, but how many of us know that Jericho is the oldest city in the world? People have been living there since 7,000 BC, and as the city has decayed, new cities have sprung up on the rubble of the old. Here is the Mount of Temptation where Jesus was tempted by the devil following 40 days in the desert without food. And these walls near Jericho are a far cry from the massive remnants unearthed a few years ago by an archaeological expedition 
which proved that Joshua's trumpets did bring the walls a tumbling down. <laughs> Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a tumbling down. When Israel was in Egypt land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people
about five miles from Bethlehem, standing in Shepherd's Field, the same field in which the shepherds were watching their flocks on the first Christmas Eve. And it was from here that they walked to the stable in Bethlehem to pay homage to the little baby boy who was to become the Good Shepherd. Two thousand years has made a big difference to the little town of Bethlehem because now it's a bustling tourist center. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 What's the buzz? And yet, even now, we can still find a relatively quiet spot that reminds us that Joseph came up from Galilee into Judea under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife. And it was here, in this place, that she brought forth her firstborn son. Virgin Mary had a baby boy. Virgin Mary had a baby boy. Virgin Mary had a baby boy. And they said that his name was Jesus. He come from the glory. Oh, yes, he come. He, he come, come from, from the, the glorious, glorious kingdom. kingdom. He come from the glory. Oh, yes, he come. He come from the glorious kingdom.
The stable has certainly had a facelift over the past 20 centuries, and the building on this site is far removed from the simple, stark cattle shelter that it used to be. And yet, the revolutionary message that began here has been timeless and unchanging because of one word, faith. has broken like the first morning blackbird has spoken like the first bird praise for the singing praise for the morning praise for them spring Fresh from the world Mine is the sunlight Mine is the morning Born of the one light Eden softly Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. It was here on the shores of the Sea of Galilee that morning first broke for the Christian world. And it was here that Jesus of Nazareth chose his first fishers of men, Simon and Andrew. Close by Galilee is the city of Nazareth, which bears little resemblance to the village in which Jesus spent his early years as an apprentice in his father's carpentry shop. And to this day, you can still visit the traditional site of that workshop. But the focal point of the city is the Church of the Annunciation where the angel Gabriel foretold the birth of Jesus to Mary. And right beside the church is one of the country's oldest and busiest markets.
We're here at Tabka on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and I'm just a short walk away from the traditional site of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. And beside these ancient steps is St. Peter's Church, built to commemorate the spot where Jesus appointed Simon Peter, the head of his church. It was here he told him, feed my lambs, feed my sheep. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. Just a closer walk with me. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. These are just two of the Beatitudes spoken by Jesus here in this beautiful and peaceful setting overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Thank you. 
Isn't this a beautiful view? It's the Sea of Galilee, also known as Kinneret or Lake Tiberias. And those distant hills on the left are the famous Golan Heights. And just below us is Deganya, Israel's oldest kibbutzim. Now right in front of us is the Jordan Valley. It's hard to believe as we look at it that once this was a barren plain, now converted through irrigation into a rich maze of fertile fields and farms. This is the Jordan, probably the most famous river in the world of song, like this one. River Jordan is deep and wide, hallelujah. Milk and honey on the other side, hallelujah. Such a heavy load. When will I reach that glory road? One more mountain to climb, one more river to cross. I've come such a long, long way still. I got a long way to go. to my prayer Sometimes my life's so hard to bear I've got to give it one more try But I know you're standing Hey Lord Nothing I can. 
Jerusalem the gold, Jerusalem the holy, the holy city of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, the heart of the Holy Land. It has suffered conquest and battle, tragedy, and triumph so often that it has earned the right to call itself indestructible. The focal point of Jerusalem both today and in the time of Jesus is Mount Moriah, where Abraham offered his only son Isaac as a sacrifice, and that rock is housed under this very impressive dome. They call it the jewel box of Islam, and it is sacred both to Muslim and Jew alike. It's built over a great slab of rock on which King Solomon built his temple, and from which, according to tradition, the prophet Muhammad journeyed to heaven. The Western or the Wailing Wall? This is the holiest of holy places for Jews all over the world. And it's the only part that remains of the great temple of King Herod. For centuries, it has stood as the symbol of the Jerusalem that they lost. The Mount of Olives. Here, Jesus taught his disciples, and from its summit, he ascended into heaven. On the lower slopes is the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus was betrayed and taken prisoner. And this is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which houses the traditional site of Christ's crucifixion and burial. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Last night as I lay sleeping, there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your gates and sing. sun grew dark with mystery, the morn was cold and chill. As the shadow of a cross arose upon a lonely hill, as the shadow of a cross arose upon a
once again the scene was changed new earth there seemed to be i saw the holy city beside the tideless sea the light of god was on its streets the gates were open wide and all who would might enter and no one was denied no need of moon or stars by nights or sun to shine by day That would not pass away. It was the new Jerusalem that would not pass away. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Therefore took Jesus and scourged him, and the soldiers plotted a crown of thorns and put it upon his head, and they put him in a purple robe. Then delivered he him unto them to be crucified, and they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him.
As it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And the angel said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. We end where we began, at Masada, the magnificent ruined fortress where the Jewish people defied the Roman armies after the destruction of Jerusalem in the year 70. You know, the history of the world has changed in this awe-inspiring country, and it was here that man learned to approach God. Why, you can stand on any hillside and know that beneath your feet, layer upon layer, the remains of dozens of civilizations 
that have striven for a better life and meditated on the mystery of their maker. This is Tommy Common. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed this Easter in Israel. Oh, Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul.